Why, hey there, strangers. How's everybody doing? It's me, Brian. I'm back. Wait. Are we, am I talking about me? Because, because I thought I was dead. <laughs> At least some of the comments down there, I, I thought I was dead. But wait, I'm still alive and doing fabulous. Wouldn't you believe it? So weird, right? I thought people just get AIDS and die. Wait, I don't even have AIDS. How weird is that? <sighs> Four years, you guys. What the hell have I been doing? Well, let me tell you. I decided to go back to school, got my bachelor's degree in fashion design, launched my own fashion line, and then worked anywhere from one to sometimes even three jobs. So one can say I was definitely working myself through college, working myself to death, working myself through life. I've just been a firm believer that you work hard for what you really want, and I'm not going to stop or settle for anything less. And I suggest you guys all do the same. Never, never, ever settle for anything less. Always fight for what you believe in and go for it. Don't stop and don't settle, okay? Don't do it. Lord knows if I had done it, I, I'd be dead. And why am I not dead? I take care of myself. <laughs> That's it. I take care of myself. Contrary to some of you ignorant folks out there, I take care of myself, meaning I don't sleep around, I eat right, I take my medications, and I exercise. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time, Brian, right? Number one, I'm not promiscuous. <gasps> what? I thought all gay guys just slept around and were whores. Mm -mm. No, I've actually still maintained a monogamous relationship almost seven years, you guys. Seven years in, like, next week. So, rule number one, don't be a hoe. Number two, I take my medications. What are you talking about, Brian? I take my meds for my HIV. They're antivirals, and what they do is they ensure that the concentration of your virus in your body is at a, such a low rate that machines, and meaning laboratory devices, can no longer detect the virus in your system. We call that undetectable, and as an HIV-positive patient, that is your goal. Keeping yourself undetectable is going to lower your risks of your HIV progressing into the final stages, which we know as AIDS the Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, okay? That's a no-no. That's not where we want to go. That's why take your meds. Now, let's talk about health and fitness. That means a wide variety of things, depending on who you're talking to and what your background is. Now, let me talk to you what it means to me. A great friend of mine, a near and dear friend of mine, a great personal trainer, as well as a bodybuilder, weightlifter, a um, friend of my own, who is also a mother of two children and is able to hold down the fort as well as take care of a whole entire family, she taught me the importance of health and fitness and what it can actually do for your body. And the most important thing that I've noticed is actually my mental health. My mental health has dramatically improved since working out and eating right for my body type. And you're going to notice that I'm always going to say body type. What are you talking about, Brian? What are you talking about? I'll give you an example. I'm skinny. <laughs> Estoy flaca. Lucky is what you're probably thinking. Because most people think I can eat whatever I want and never have to deal with any type of ramifications, gaining a pound or anything like that. The way I see it is I sneeze and I lose 10 pounds. <laughs> I fart and I leave, literally leave like half my body behind and I lose all this weight. That's a problem of mine. So that's my body type. I have really fast metabolism, so I have to make sure I eat appropriately for that. Now, I'm not going to eat the same way as somebody who's trying to lose, say, 20 to 50 pounds, even more, whatever. We're going to have different calorie intakes. We're going to have different types of proteins. We're going to have different types of stuff that we have to do entirely. So make sure you're eating right for your body type is super important. Okay. Now, a lot of people think you can just go run on a treadmill, you're going to lose all this weight. Most people don't realize that going to the gym actually starts in your kitchen. You have to make sure that you are eating right. Really, it's about 80% of working out. Make sure you eat right first. Once you got the eating under control, then you can move on into the fitness section. 
I'm gonna fit this whole burger in my mouth. Ha <laughs> Weirdo. We all know what the gym is, right? Have you guys been into the gym? You know, you have your cardio section, the treadmills, stair climbers, all that stuff, usually on the second floor, depending on which gym you go to. You have a basketball court, depending on which gym you go to. A pool, depending on which gym you go to. Squash court. Up until recently, I thought it had something to do with vegetables. But there's a big section that I noticed a lot of people are very intimidated to go to. And I call it sort of the muscle daddy arena because it's where these big muscle daddies go to give birth. Or at least I think they're giving birth by all the sounds that they're making. <sighs> I've always been so intimidated to go to this section because I don't know what to do. You just see the weights there and you're like, now what? The great thing is, is that my personal trainer friend has showed me a whole array of exercises that actually help with my body type and achieving my goals, which is gaining mass. Mass? <laughs> which is in gaining mass. Now, that's my personal goal. And that's how I've maintained to be healthy because I'm obtaining those goals and I've never felt better than ever. Like, I can just take over the world. And that, my good friends, is how I stay alive and fit and happy. Now that you guys know what I've been up to, what do you guys think? Please comment below. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all my Instagrams and everything. I do have a Twitter account. Don't really update, but I'll make sure I post it because who knows? Maybe I'll get a little wild hair up in there and I'll want to go ahead and post something. Who knows? But make sure you follow me. Um, do all that stuff. Thank you guys again for your continued support. It really means a lot to me. I may not respond or be able to communicate to each individual comment, but just know that I do go through and I do read all of the comments and it just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside knowing that I have great support and I'm helping people and that's really what I want to do. With that being said, I want to take my YouTube into a different direction. I still want to keep it HIV relevant. I always want to make sure I sprinkle that in here because, let's face it, that's what I'm sort of known for. Love it. Um, but I want to talk about lifestyle, meaning health and fitness. Um, what are you doing to be a better you? How are you being the best that you can be and what can you do to improve that? No matter how good you think you are, no matter how good you think you're ever going to be, this goes for me too. It, you can always improve. There's always room for improvement. And let's go ahead and improve together, you guys. Okay? Thank you guys for your continued support. I look forward to my next posting.